Okay, so one of the system parameters I want to change is I want to change the host name of my uh, Raspberry Pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use sudo and nano to edit a file um, slash etc slash hostname. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm then going to uh, delete that and I'm going to change that to a host name of my choice. I'm going to use um, clue reference from the film Tron and then going to save that file and if we look at that slash etc slash host name it's now called uh, clue if I look at that there um, it still hasn't been changed so what I now need to do is actually kind of activate this and make this permanent so I'm going to run the following command sudo slash etc slash init.d slash hostname.sh which is a script and I'm going to run start I run that script and if I now run the um, command hostname I can see it's called clue so I reboot the um, my Raspberry Pi it's going to pause it so you don't have to wait for the um, system to come back ok so my Raspberry Pi is finally come back up and I'm going to uh, log back in with my password. <coughs> and we now see that my host name has been preserved and it's now called Clue. Once we've changed our host name, we're going to run into an annoying little problem. Whenever we try and run uh, a command with sudo, we're going to get this message here unable to resolve host clue. What that basically means is, is that the host files that we the host file that we have on our system doesn't recognise that the IP address that we have on our server matches the um, the name of the server. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go in and edit the host file to allow us to get rid of this message. So if we go in and we use um, sudo nano forward slash etc and then we use our uh, go to our host file and um, what we need to do is where it says Raspberry Pi we need to edit this out and put in clue so if we then say um, save that and exit next time we try and run a command with sudo on we'll no longer get that, that error message